Welcome to a little bit about everything. This is my channel designated to anything and everything that I come across that I'm interested in. On today's episode, we're going to talk about fertilizing your lawn very inexpensively and greener than anyone else's. So let's mix up my brew, but first we have to get to my very secret mixing lab. So let's go there right now. Welcome to my secret underground laboratory. Here's everything that you will need. Epsom salt, two cups of water. This is some uh, generic all-purpose plant food. And the reason I put this in, it has a lot of micro ingredients, um, phosphate, potash, boron, copper, iron, magnesium, zinc, and a few other things. This is very inexpensive. I picked this up at uh, Walmart, so don't get a real expensive one. This is just very inexpensive. Dawn dish soap. Household ammonia. Two mixing cups. A spoon. Any type of a cola product, but not diet. It must be the sugary kind. Mouthwash. Beer, even though I'm a non-drinker, never have drank, never will drink, but you need some beer for this formula and a mixing container. This happens to be a 64 ounce container and that's just about right. You'll also need some sort of a measuring cup. Now you can designate a measuring cup that I have the water in. I just took a plastic cup and I measured what a cup would be and then I put a mark on the inside so I could see. And the reason for that is a lot of these things happen to be in cups. The item I normally start with is the Epsom salt because it takes time for it to dissolve and that's what the two cups of water or four. So you're going to start out with a cup of Epsom salt and you're going to need to dissolve that Epsom salt in water and I've determined it takes about two cups of water to get that dissolved and this will take a while. So I normally I just start adding water and then I'll pour what is dissolved into my main container. So let me get this dissolved and then we'll continue on. Once you have the Epsom salt dissolved, I've been using a styrofoam cup because it's easy to make it so it's pourable. But before you actually pour it in, at this time you could mix in that plant food that I talked about. And I use about three tablespoons or three of the measuring cups this came with the kit, so three of those. And again, you're going to stir that so it melts in. If there's a few granules left, that'll be okay because you'll need to shake this up in between using it each time. But those dissolve pretty easily and quickly. So some of that's still solid, but I have other ingredients that are going to go in. So let's take something that is uh, a liquid form. So let's add in the Coke product. Now again, I'll put all the measurements on the screen at the end of this video. So you didn't, don't need to write this down. You can pause the end of the video and write it down. But this is going to be one and a half cups or 12 ounces. So there's the one cup mark. Now I need another half cup. And again, because I had some of the residual plant food that had not um, liquefied yet, I'll just stir this up a little bit before adding it to my mix. The Epsom salt and the this plant fertilizer are the only two things that are not liquid, so they're the only ones that need to be dissolved. Okay, next on my list, and I'm going to mix two things together, is going to be the mouthwash and the dish soap and that's just because the Dawn dish soap is kind of thick so I want to get it all in there so I'll, I'll rinse it out with the uh, mouthwash. So let's do the dish soap next. This will be one half cup of Dawn dish soap. You do not want a antibacteria dish soap you just want uh, basic dish soap because you don't want to kill the bacteria in your lawn. You want it to flourish and uh, Dawn is known to be uh, safe. I can actually pour the Dawn into my pouring cup 
and see how I've got a coating in there. That's what I'll use to rinse out with the mouthwash. You could also use water. You can pour a little bit of this back in. It doesn't matter. So let me pour this in. And then to get that out, I can go back and forth a little bit. That'll just rinse out the residue from the dish soap. We're going to follow that up with a half cup of mouthwash. Again, I'm stirring this because I have a little residue from the dish soap in there. That'll rinse that out. We have two remaining ingredients, the ammonia and the beer. And I'll do the beer first. The ammonia I want to do last. The beer has some, um, the malts and the hops and the things that are in beer are good for the microorganisms that live in your lawn. So I don't want to put it straight with the ammonia. I don't know that that would do anything to it, but it just seems prudent or smart. And I got the cheapest I could find is a cup and a half or 12 ounces. Now this is a larger 16 ounce can, but it was cheaper. Uh, so I just save it. I put it in a, a separate container. Now the beer is hard not to foam up, so it's a little difficult to work with. So you have to be patient and wait for the foam to go away. The beer foamed up so much on my first dose, it's taking forever for the foam to go away. So I'm just gonna guesstimate and put it directly into my mix because putting a little more of the beer in won't matter, it would only help. The final part of my secret mixture is household ammonia and it'll be one and a half cups and that'll just fill this up right to the brim. To add the ammonia, I've decided I just took a little bit out of this container because of the suds and now I can put the ammonia in. Then when the foaming reduces down, I'll add the rest that I just taken a little bit out. So again, it's gonna be a cup and a half of household ammonia. Be careful with ammonia. It's very annoying to the nose and eyes, so keep your distance as you can. And this is just gonna go right in to complete my brew. Put the lid on and you'll need to mix it up a little bit, especially before you use it each time. Go ahead and, you know, shake your container. You may see some residue that collects on the bottom and that's what you want to stir up. What I use for application is this ortho dialin spray. This sprayer automatically applies the product by, uh, you can do tablespoons up to ounces. I've been setting it at about two and a half ounces, but then I only go over the lawn a couple of sweeps, two or three sweeps. I don't really soak it in. If you want to soak it in, then reduce your application rate. So you could go, for example, you could go down to one ounce and then you can make quite a few passes back and forth so that the lawn gets a little uh, wetter with the application because you're going to want it to set on the grass leaves and any of the plant leaves is fine too. That's just the way I do it. Today I may put it on two ounces and just water it in a little more. Right now my lawn is healthy. In most cases you will notice a difference overnight. I prefer to put it down either on a cloudy day or in the early evening so it sets moist on the grass as opposed to putting it on in the heat of the day. And also you don't necessarily want it to rain when you put it on. You want it to sit on top of the soil for about 24 hours. Then if it rains, that's fine because then it'll rinse it down into the roots also. So now let's go put it on the lawn. Be sure to look up Boiler Dan 1 Elephant Ear Fertilizer and you'll see an amazing story of that plant. <laughs> 